Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy. Listen, this is going to be a video on tips on how to sell 30 plus cars a month. Listen guys, right now I'm in our new location in Scottsdale, Arizona, 10,000 square feet, totally freaking insane. March 14th, we're about to have our first live master closer seminar. We have them every single month. So for some reason, if you want to join me in a master closer seminar and you haven't reached out, let me give you my, my phone number real quick and then let's get to the training. 918-210-0254. You guys know my number, reach out to me, we'll get you set up. This is what I wanna talk about. How do you become a 30 plus car hand? What do those tips look like? Well, as I go through and the salespeople that we're building, we're finding the same common things with all of them. How they're crushing it, killing it, and destroying it. Number one, confidence, okay? Confidence is through the roof. This right here is probably one of the most important things that you could have as an automotive salesperson, as anybody in life that's selling. Confidence, think about this. What's next to confidence? Believability, okay? Believability. This right here is probably one of the missing factors that whenever somebody delivers some information to somebody, the customer's looking at you and they're thinking, man, does this guy believe in what he's saying? Can I believe this guy? That is what confidence displays into believability. And then we're gonna talk about the last part, which is certainty. Listen, I'm gonna give you 10 or 15 tips here how to sell 30 plus cars every month. Certainty. Think about this word with me, okay? Certainty. If somebody was telling you something, if they were telling you something and they didn't seem 100% certain in what they were saying, what would you do? Well, you would leave. And this is what happens. Most salespeople, they can get to 99% certainty, but because they have 1% of uncertainty, the customer clings to the 1% and they leave. This is a time where you gotta check yourself from the neck up and decide, man, hey, look, how's my believability skill? How's my confidence? Look, how's my believability? How's your conviction? When you deliver anything, whether it's a word track, you know, going out and saying hi to them, letting them know that you're the person they, that, you know, that they should be doing business with. How is your conviction? Guys, you're always closing. I hear this all the time. People are like, man, you know, at the last 10%, I'm closing. Look, you're closing the whole time. The first second I walk in and shake somebody's hand and I meet them, I'm closing them on I'm the person to do business with them, all right? So we're closing 100% of the time Everybody understand that. And by the way, you high achievers, you're like, Andy, you know, preach it, speak it, because I know it. We're closing all the time. Conviction, write that word down. And by the way, whenever I train, I'm gonna write down the word conviction. Whenever I train, the fastest way to teach you how to learn is for you to write stuff down. When I write down confidence, the best thing for you to do is to label next to confidence, one to 10, where do you stand? Where do you stand one to 10? Believability, one to 10. Certainty, one to 10. Conviction, one to 10. Where do you stand? Now let's move on to the next part, which is what? Conviction, believability, confidence, certainty, enthusiasm. What kind of enthusiasm do you have? You know, I always talk about buyer management and seller management a lot. Let me explain to you what that means in case you never heard of it before. Seller management means I'm the seller. It's my job to manage my state, my attitude, my smile, the way that I manage myself, my, my body language, right? Everything that I do, I manage it. Is my show worth paying for, yes or no? Well, it better be a yes. So what is buyer management? Buyer management means that's my buyer. So does my buyer see me have enthusiasm? Like I'm excited selling cars, having a great day. I'm the top sales guy, not in the store, but in the country, and they won the lottery finding me? Or are you like a dud? You're like a coffin dead just walking around? Because that's a lot of people out there. Change that if that's you. This is all about leveling you up and taking you to the next level. So that's gonna be a big one, enthusiasm. Guys, write that down, okay? Not the best speller, good closer, good salesman, not the best speller. So enthusiasm, now think about it. As you're looking at confidence, believability, certainty, enthusiasm, and conviction, what is something else that you see that I have right now? What is something that you see all the time if you go to watch Andy Elliott training? Well, number one, you have energy. Energy is important. Momentum 
feeds the machine with you and the customer's relationship. I am constantly building up momentum as I'm going through doing business with my customer. All right? Most people, they tire out and they get slow, not me. I get faster, better, bigger, stronger. And that's what I need you to take from me. As you guys are watching my sales style, you're like, man, you know what? Andy, I do need more energy. How do you get it? Where do you get it from? Well, it's real easy. I train myself to have it. And plus our customers deserve it. And if you can give it to every customer, most likely all of them will buy from you. Now let's talk about some things real quick. Word tracks are very important. Word tracks, okay? Take this person, right? Take this person, he carries all this stuff. What happens when his words are wrong? This is where closing and negotiations and objection handling and how the Master Closer Seminar was created. But I was teaching people the words to advance to sell forward in every scenario and not how to take the sell backwards. You see, because most salespeople that sell 30 plus cars a month, the one thing that they know is this, their words are everything. And most salespeople say 70% of the right stuff, but 30% of the wrong stuff. And every time you say something wrong, it pulls the sell backwards again. Look, when people buy, they make decisions one or two ways, actually both. One, logically, right? Logically, like what you're saying logically makes sense to me. And then second, with my gut. I decide as I hear you talking to me, hey man, do I believe in this guy? Do I look up to this person? Do I think that what they're telling me, right, is right? In persuasion, in influencing people, are you taking the way you feel and pushing it into the customer? Think about it. I can take anybody in any state, take the way that I feel, walk up to them, put my arms around them, and push the way I feel into them, and they'll, and they'll act that way. You can do the same thing. And it's called persuading. It's called the transfer of emotion, taking the way you feel and pushing it into them. And listen, if your words are wrong while you're trying to persuade somebody, what happens is they get a gut feeling that they're in the wrong place and they go this way. Goes back to this. 99% certainty, 1% uncertainty, the customer clings and fails. Now every day we do sales training videos that cover over all the different skill sets that you could want as a salesperson. Look, as you look in the mirror right now, do the mirror test. Walk through the things that I just talked about with you. Enthusiasm, confidence, conviction, believability, certainty in you, yourself, the product, the vehicle, everything. But really in you, you're the silver bullet that's gonna make the difference. This is what separates the difference between a 12 to 15 car hand and a 30 car hand every single time. And then, if you can dial in the right words, if you can learn the right skill, which is what we teach, guess what? Your life will be changed forever in the car business. You'll sell 50 to 60 cars a month, every single month. You'll probably close around 80 to 90%, yes. And I've got some haters out there that say that that's impossible. Guess what happens? It's impossible for you because you don't believe but not impossible for us. We're the one percenters. We do what the 99% don't do. And that's why this is the world's number one sales training program. So as you're listening to this video today, I don't wanna run it too long. I wanna keep it short and sweet. Run through all of these things, write them down. Judge yourself from one to 10, where do you rate yourself? And if you're not an 11 on all of them, start leveling up on them. Guys, reach out to me again. My cell phone's 918-210-0254. Reach out to me, I got, I got your back for life. I love all you guys. We have the world's training, number one training program. We got 140,000 sales pros we're training now in 1,100 dealerships. If your dealerships in need of some help, reach out to me, I'd love to help you crush it. But if you're a salesperson, you're like, man, it's time to level up. I feel like there's a better version of me, Andy, when I watch your training and I wanna to go to the next level, what's that look like? Shoot me a text message, I'll help you. Have a great day.